Um, so we're going to be learning the basic beginner um, basic beginner edits and mixing techniques. I already have my track laid down uh, right here, as you can see. Uh, what I'm going to be showing you guys is like reverb, um, high pass. So we're going to start with normalizing it. Normalize it, and it's really important to not press compressor first because compre oopsies, because compressor will just the low parts will still be there and it'll sound all whack and out of loudness like the db will be a lot a lot less and that the db is like the sound or the level of sound it's making so we're going to go ahead and normalize this so you can i think these are the presets to audacity uh but you can copy them down if you don't have it and um again like the reason why i'm doing this all on audacity is because a lot of people are uh, that are beginners uh, start with audacity because it's a free program. Uh, I was gonna play it. That would have been your rape Okay, so you're gonna go to compressor uh, Take these down actually I think Yeah, honestly no that that's that's fine. This is a good okay, so copy this down so it's like a negative 20 Negative 40 DB. Just don't worry about that. Just copy that down and then as you can see it's all like I forgot to explain I am going to show you guys how to make Roxanne by Arizona Zervas. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys, actually I don't even care if you like this. I'm just here to give you the edits. Okay, so yeah, once you've done that, um, I would, it doesn't matter what you do after this. It's okay, it's really important to go normalize and then compressor. If you do compressor and then normalize, you just get a back of a bunch of like wacky lines and stuff. Um, so this is sort of uncomfortable, but you see the, yeah. We're gonna just auto tune it first. Um, I'll leave, um, there is a way to pirate this, but I'm not gonna show you that link. My dry vocals. Roxanne, Roxanne. Boom! My voice is obviously a bit strained, I get that. Um, I'm not used to singing in, like, rap like this. I'm, I'm not... It seems like I'm not as good when I'm recording because I can rely on auto-tune. I know that should not be how I think, but it's how I think. So, you're the one coming to me for advice. Okay, so we're gonna start with uh, how it sounds now. Yeah, so that's how that's how it sounds with auto tune, and that's not it. We're gonna do high pass now because that's really important. So a high pass gets you. Um, it sounds more dry. It gets all the bass out of your voice. I'm not onto like the dry parts where it makes you sound like crispy and everything. Like in a lot of Drake songs, I've noticed that it's it comes out really crisp in your ears. I I can't like think of anybody else who has really the same vocals it's pretty much just drake and it just almost sometimes hurts because it's so so dry it just sounds like it's poking you or something or needles coming in your ears here you're gonna go to your equalization and it's really handy you have the 100 hertz rumble it basically does the same thing but it does it on a minor scale so it takes out the base of your voice a little bit so once you do that, uh, you're gonna go back to equalization, and okay, so I would start just on treble boost, and it's basically just dragging it. So you're on treble boost, you drag it from 5,000 hertz to 10,000 hertz on the to the fourth or fifth dB scale. Um, yeah, that 
yeah just ab around there like you can go up down wherever just as long as you're in this range here yeah so we'll do okay and then you want to go ahead and do compressor because you see the these this um these high points here that will hurt your ears those are the in this yeah so you're gonna want to do compressor again so yeah you can watch that just watch right here yeah you see how it like hardly changed don't worry about it that'll happen um it's doing its job compressor does its job so now you've done all of that um so yeah once you've done that all equalization yes then you're on reverb and another thing is delay is you don't always need delay i use delay for like uh when i have like a break in my words or or like after a rhyme or something so this is uh some good reverb you can copy this I'm actually gonna make this 75 for you ocd kids damping damping usually like 12 or something is good um yeah so copy all this down these are great basic reverb settings these are really good so just copy those down let's get you almost like a hollywood sort of like post malone type i don't know and again these aren't my professional settings these this is the reverb i use for most of my songs but it's not this is all beginner stuff so um don't think i'm making songs like this yeah oh have you heard my chair it's a fun chair very fun chair i love it when i'm trying to record and it goes um i'll show you delay i have to find a good spot for delay actually oh right here Yeah, okay, so this is gonna this is gonna be a little open space for us to mess around with, with delay. The delay, almost every song, the delay will change um, in Audacity. Uh, so here, um, I'm gonna set it to, so okay, so as you can see, it's starting at 125, this is how I do it. I see where the, where the my clip ends, or where the end of the delay ends, so it ends after about two seconds. So I'm going to go around two seconds and try to find it because I want it to repeat like right after just to see how it sounds. So let's see how this sounds. I see what I do is body all night. I see what I do is body all night. <laughs> if, if I was delaying through the whole song, I would not do that because it would be a bit late. But here it's like, it's okay. It's, it's fine. It doesn't sound too, too bad. Actually, what I am going to do is I'm going to turn up the sound oh that wasn't the sound um okay i think it was on 60. okay um yeah we're gonna turn this up a bit that was not up okay there we go yeah we want to you want to hear you want everybody to hear that hi okay so um yes 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 that's good okay so that's what delay is. I'm only going to delay that part because none of the other song really matters. Yeah, after you did the delay and the reverb, you're pretty much set to go. Is there anything else I'm forgetting? I mean, you can obviously like add ad libs. For ad libs, I would, I would do like um, more reverb on it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so... Let's say I took this, I'm just going to duplicate it here. Let's say I took this here. I do not know what I'm doing right now. This is not anything legit. But I'm going to do this and then I'm going to go... Actually, we're going to add a bit of space onto here so that the reverb can drag out. Because if you put the reverb and edit to here, see this white space, it's not going to... The reverb won't go over that. It'll just be over this white space. You can use reverb... Turn up the pre-delay and um, reverberance or reverberance, anything you'd like to say. Damping usually makes it sound more like a wet room 
You know, like when you're showering in in an uh, in a public pool, like when you slap your butt in the shower. That's that's the sound that makes. We're gonna turn that down a bit then, because we don't want it like too dreamy. Um, yeah, that should be fine. Yeah, see how that got a little bit more gain than than like this one. See this this like stopped right. This one goes on for a while. But anyways, yeah. So we're gonna take a listen to this and. Uh, hope you like this. In a way, yeah, got no race, yeah. Living fast, Ricky Bobby shaking bait, yeah. See the chain, yeah. It's a lay, yeah. So I the chase, uh, now she wanna date, yeah. Say no boo, I'm the coast, ooh. So the only like cocaine and whole foods. Yeah, snapping all up on the grandma's going crazy. Now she wanna fuck me and the boy go with Nate. Malibu, Malibu. If you were gonna boy, then she laugh at you. Malibu, Malibu. Spending daddy's money with an attitude, Roxanne.